Hey guys, it's your favorite professor, Professor Together Chemist, and I wanted to give some tips and tricks to my New York Regents chemistry students. So those of you guys that have been coming onto my lives within the past couple of days, you've expressed some concerns about the Regents exam for chemistry. Here's the things that you need to know for the Regents exam. That periodic table is going to be your lifesaver. Why? Because you need to know certain trends of the periodic table, such as the electronegativity as it increases from left to right, as it also increases from the bottom to the top, things like that. You also need to know about the atomic radii. There are also things I would recommend that you do, such as putting those little um, trends on note cards so that you can know what things are very common, like atomic radii, um, and also ionization energy as well as electron affinity and valence. You also need to know about the atoms and the atomic structure, things like protons, electrons, and neutrons, and how to easily calculate one of those numbers based on given being given maybe two of the numbers. So if you're trying to look for your protons, remember protons, electrons, and atomic number are all the same things. Now, something else, if you want to calculate your neutrons, you need to know your atomic mass number from your atomic number. Make sure you round up that atomic mass number on your periodic table. Also, when it comes to um, chemical bonding, you need to know the difference between ionic bonds, covalent bonds, polar covalent, non-polar covalent. There are some tips and tricks that you can actually use in order to get that information down pat. Now, when it comes to chemical bonding, also... That goes in alignment with writing chemical formulas, knowing the difference between the covalent bond, which is when you have two non-metals combining together, versus an ionic bond where you have a metal plus a non-metal element, okay? M metal plus non-metal swap charges. Covalent bonds do not. Matter of fact, they're using numerical prefixes within their names. Something else you need to know about are, is nuclear chemistry. Nuclear chemistry also is in the same vein as uh, protons, electrons, and neutrons because you're having to use the same type of process in terms of calculating um, radioactive materials, dealing with alpha particles, gamma particles, and um, beta particles, okay? I know it's a lot of information that you got to know, and I don't want to make this video too long, so stay tuned for part two. Oh, and don't forget to join me on my live Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know many of you guys are going to be taking the Regents exam next week. So you've got a, a week with me, okay? So come on over. I'm going to help you for free 99.